Woo! What is going on guys? If you asked me if I was going to be recording two videos today, I probably would have said no. But I have some big news, huge news about Adobe Premiere Pro. Adobe Premiere can finally export ProRes, which is huge. So if you don't know what ProRes is, it's essentially the industry standard video codec. It's not super lossy like H.264, and it's actually pretty versatile. It's able to play back on a lot of machines with not a lot of trouble. Now there are different types of ProRes. There's 422, 422HQ, 422LT, 4444, there's a bunch of them. So in short, ProRes is gonna be one of the best codecs that you can use if you're making a short film or something that you just don't wanna compress that much. I used to work at an ad agency and every single commercial that we would send out to air on TV was in ProRes 422HQ. So if that tells you anything about this codec, it should be that it is super high quality and it's able to meet industry standards, which is huge for us. Especially because they didn't have it on Windows forever. I don't know why, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. But it's there now and that's what counts. So the first thing that you're gonna do in whatever project you're in, right here I have my uh, Burbank short film opened, is click File and then Export Media. You can also do this by doing Command or Control M. ProRes is brand new to Windows. This method will also work for exporting on Mac. So if you're on a Mac and you just wanna learn how to export ProRes, then this is for you as well. Once you hit Control or Command M and you see your export screen, up at the top you'll see two sections, one that says Format and one that says Preset. Under Format, we're gonna scroll down until we see QuickTime. Then under Preset, we're gonna choose whichever ProRes codec we want. For this example, I'm gonna be using ProRes 422HQ, which, by the way, I like to use ProRes 422HQ because once you have that, you can actually use that as kind of a master file and make other files off of that. I'll be right back. I'm making I'm making fish sticks and they're done. I, this, I, this isn't part of it. Hold on. Okay, we're back. Fish sticks are done. They're a little hot, so I got a few minutes to wait to finish this up. Anyway, so in that preset dropdown, choose ProRes 422HQ, or if you want something that's gonna make a really nice looking file but not be as big in file size, you can choose ProRes 422. ProRes 422HQ and ProRes 422 are probably the only ones you're gonna wanna use. I personally always stick with HQ because we can buy more hard drive space, but you can't really buy more quality. And that's a Zach Rogers promise. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that one. But then once you have your settings selected, make sure that it's matching your frame size and go ahead and click export. Guys, this is huge news for anybody working on a Windows machine. I work on both Windows and Mac and they definitely both have their pros and cons, but the fact that I'm able to export ProRes off of Windows now is huge to me. And hopefully it'll be huge to you guys as well. If you have any questions on how to do this, uh, just leave a comment below. What are YouTubers supposed to say? Like, like comment and subscribe. I mean, yeah, do those things, but Mostly comment if you have any questions. Okay, I'm not I'm not entirely sure how to end this, so I'm uh I'm gonna go eat my fish sticks. So see ya.